about two weeks into our first headlining tour in support of Beggars. Um, we're out with Kevin Devine and the Goddamn Band, uh, Bad Veins, and Dig. And uh, like I said, we're about two weeks in, and so far, so good. Um, it's a really eclectic mix of bands on the bill. I think it's, uh, it's different than a, a bill that we would take out in the past. Um, trying to expose people to different genres of music and different styles of music that we normally play with, and I think it's going really well so far. Um, we're playing maybe five or six songs from Beggars, um, a variety of songs from the Alchemy Index EPs, um, five or six from Bisu, three or four from Artists in the Ambulance, and uh, we even dug up a few old Illusion of Safety songs. Um, but the sets are going really well, and it's always a challenge for us to kind of uh, make our sets flow because our music has changed so much over the years. But I think we've kind of we kind of figured it out for this tour, and uh, the sets are flowing really well. There's a cool dynamic, um, a kind of ebb and flow to the set, which is something we've been trying to do on record for a long time. So uh, to be doing it in a live setting is really cool, um, and we're just having a good time. Uh, we've got about four or five weeks left um, down the East Coast, through Florida, through the South, um, and then back home. And uh, then we're going to be home for about three weeks, and then we go over to the UK to do Reading and Leeds, Pupil Pop, a bunch of European festivals, and a few club shows. Um, and it'll be our second time over in Europe this year, so we're looking forward to that. And um, yeah, from there, the rest of the year is kind of up in the air. We may do a tour in the fall, or we may just decide to write a new record. It's a CNC custom uh, maple kit. Uh, it's a 24 inch kick, 14 inch rack, 18 inch floor. Um, I'm playing on a Ludwig Supraphonic reissue snare, 14 inch. Um, really happy with my drums, but I'm even happier with my cymbals, uh, which are Zildjian. Um, my hats are A new beat. Um, I, I experimented a little bit with a 16 inch uh, light K's and they were a little, they were good in the studio but for some reason live our front house guy thought they were a little too chunky for some of the stuff I was doing. So I went back to the new beats um, and I've been using these for probably six years or seven years. Um, on my left side crash I have a sweet ride, 21 inches. Um, most of my my symbols are rides. Actually, all of them are rides, except for the hats. Um, and uh, somebody actually asked me why I went to bigger symbols, and I don't really know why. <laughs> um, just bigger is better, I guess. Um, and then looking at setups like Dave Grohl's setup, um, and kind of ripping him off a little bit in certain regards. Um, then for my ride, I have a K 24-inch light ride which I love, but I think the people at Zildjian hate me because I go through them so quickly and I keep sending them cracked cymbals. Um, but it's a great cymbal. So, such good articulation and um, really awesome sounding if you crash on it as well, which I do, which is why I break them. But um, Probably my favorite cymbal I've ever had. Um, I just play like an ogre. And then, over here for my right side crash, I have a K ride 22 inch um, real big real heavy sounding um, and I just like the way it sounds to finish a roll on a big cymbal um, come across the toms and end up here or um, if I want to move to uh, a section that's I'm riding a little bit more aggressively I'll ride on this ride that's uh, just a little bit more nasty sounding but yeah, those are those are my symbols. Um, I wish I knew why I chose certain symbols, but I think it's just been a process of trial and error and finding what works and finding 
and what matches uh, the sound I'm looking for with the durability I need, and, and this is the setup that's been doing it for me. I think I've, I've been using this setup for probably three or four years, and I don't really see myself changing outside of maybe finding um, a ride that takes a pounding a little bit better. But, um, I grew up, the first cymbals I bought were Zildjian cymbals, so to be able to work with them and, and uh, have them treat me as good as they do uh, is something I'm really grateful for and uh, couldn't be happier with the cymbals. <laughs> Barbit bubble mint gum. Nice advertisement. I, I don't have an endorsement with them and I'm not getting paid to advertise, but I used to have a problem grinding my teeth when I played, um, which goes back to me saying that I play kind of like an ogre. Um, and for some reason having gum in my mouth, even though a lot of times I find that I'm chewing it to the tempo of the track that I'm playing, uh, it helps relax me. And now that I started chewing gum when I play, it feels weird not to be chewing gum when I play. So uh, it's become kind of a superstition and this is the flavor. And uh, so always, always chewing gum. On the bus. Uh, Typical day on tour uh, usually takes me a couple weeks um, to kind of get into a routine one way or another. Um, it's weird because at home I'm a total morning person. Like I get up at like five and go to the gym, and then I'm in bed by ten. And here I don't start. I don't, I don't get up until ten or eleven, and then I have to go to work and be on stage at when I would normally going to bed so it's totally it's a really weird dichotomy it's like two different lives but on this tour there actually hasn't really been too much TV watching um, been a lot of reading um, Dustin's working on some stuff in the back lounge recording something or other um, Ed and Tepe are both uh, pretty into arts and crafts <laughs> first it was like knitting and crocheting and now they're really into leather work, so they're making wallets and like little keychains and uh, I don't know. Some bands party and uh, others crochet. Uh, others crochet <laughs> and make stuff out of leather. <laughs> All right, we're backstage at the Boston House of Blues. I have my Lakers T-shirt on because Game Seven of the NBA Finals is happening right now. Uh, so I'm checking that on the laptop. I got my gum. I got my sticks. And then over there I have a pad, a uh, kick pad and a stick pad. Um, and then I'll start getting warmed up. And then it's time for a rock show.